but you cannot give you a milk. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. You really don't need to go in that tiny little crevice when there's a big pile of them right there. And then if I just do that, he now knows, see? He's getting ready. He knows food's coming. So go, go on, come on. Go on, it's going, it's going closer. Recently I realised I've never done a feeding video on my channel. Now obviously this isn't a problem, but like, why not? Why haven't I done that? And then I thought, rather than doing just boring like pellets and all that, which I will do as well, but let's also get some live food in. So I've never actually fed live food to most of the fish or exotic animals that I've got in my fish studio. And I thought it'd make a cool video to just show me feeding some live stuff to the fish. So here is what we've got. This is feeder shrimp or river shrimp. They're like they live in brackish water on the edges of rivers and whatnot, so they're not actually able to live in fresh water for long. So they work really well as feeder shrimp. We've got blood worms, we've got water fleas, and we've got black worms, which aren't black, surprisingly. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna feed all the different fish and animals that can have live food, life. It's a fly, one more. I'm winning the war against the flies, guys, by the way, but I haven't won yet. So it's getting there, it's getting close now, which is good. Anyway, I'm gonna feed all the fish that can have live food, live food, I, like Pancho's gonna love those shrimp, I think, and also a couple of blood ones. We'll work our way up to the shrimp at the end, but we'll start off with the, I think we'll start with the water fleas. But before we do any of that, some of these tanks are looking filthy and need topping up and cleaning. So let's get on with that. Time lapse. Right, so that's Pancho's digs taken care of, goldfish sorted, cave aquarium sorted, and also the Rainbow River sorted with this sexy bit of fly catching tape I've got up here, but it's doing the job well, look. You. <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm the one who's made a tropical environment in here. It's no wonder all the little mosquitoes and whatever are thriving. <laughs> so I think it's best if we start with the smallest first, which is these little like water fleas. And I think they're probably gonna go best in the Rainbow River tank. But if I put them in there now with that flow, it's just gonna go boof, and we're not gonna see anything. So if I turn that filter off and then we can come up close, I'll put it in one area, probably be the other side because they all like to congregate over there. And then we can put it in gently and just see what's going on. Right, so the filter's off, look. They all seem to be congregating over this area. They know something's going on. So what I'm just gonna quickly do is cut this little bag of them open, put it into this well, after I've cleaned it out, but this tiny little shrimp net because that'll hold them all and I can actually put them in there nice and easily then. It'll be nice and clean and nice and quick as well. Let's do that. Okay, here they are. Just gonna snip the top off, pour it through, the water will go through and they should hopefully stay in the net. Look, they're absolutely loving it. Going for it. Go on, guys. Feast on your live for not very long <laughs> water fleas. Tons going on. Hopefully this will like get some breeding action on or something like that as well. Because I've been told by a few people that live foods, you know, promote breeding. Let me take the wide angle off. Oh, that looks so much better. Why don't I just take that off anyway? Yeah, look, look how look how fast they're all moving, like. Oh, I love that. They look great, don't they? Since doing that water change, I've now actually noticed how much tannings was in the water. I'm doing that side to side thing again. Sorry, guys. Yeah, there's so much tannings in the water before. It's nice and clean now. It was uh, it was actually looking really brown, which I don't mind too much because it actually looks kind of real. But let's see if we can get close up without spooking anyone. Look at that. Look at that rainbow there. He's gorgeous, isn't he? And then there's some females as well. There's a zebra. And then there's the golden white clouds. Actually, they're not golden. They're just normal white clouds. I don't have any golden white clouds. I don't even know why I said that. It's good, isn't it, that these all get along really well. I did see my wood shrimp just a second ago. I wonder if he's still about. Let's have a little look over here. He was round here. Um, as I was cleaning, I accidentally touched him on the substrate and he just went flying, but he was all right. It didn't hurt him. Oh, there he is, there he is. Obviously, he's not fanning at the moment. They always fan now. Yeah, so what I do now is I crush up my food so that it's like a tiny powder and you can always see them filtering in it. I kind of feel like I want to put the water back on though because this is not, they're all going to be so confused. They're just going to be like, oh yeah, this is interesting, look. 
So look, these roots were nowhere near this long, but look at them now. Nature finds a way and they're trailing all the way across as well. I'm not trimming them, I'm just gonna leave them. I think it looks really good, really authentic. This tank does need something else, doesn't it? Shall I tell you what I'm gonna do? I wanna get those vampire shrimp that we saw before. A couple of those big bad boys, like owning the tank. I think that'll be cool. Let me know if you think I should get a vampire shrimp. Yes, yes, you're coming up, Mike. It'll be your turn next. Don't worry about it, we're just getting some food onto you. So I literally just compressed the whole video and then I was like, well, I can't exactly do a feeding without Timmy. I wasn't going to feed him, but you know what? I'm going to get those black worms and I'm going to give them to him because look, he's right at the front. He's expecting a meal. We could not give him a meal, could we? We could not give you a meal, could we, Timmy? Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. There he is again. So there are the blood worms. I'm going to pour some of that water off. It's way too much. I can pick them up the pincers and put them right in the middle as well. I think right here is a good idea. Oh, look, there they are, the crazy Timmy, where are you? Okay guys, I have found Timmy, Timmy! Hopefully he can see the black worms. I think he's seen them. Come on Timmy, you've just wedged yourself in a rock. That is not gonna help the situation, is it? That's it, turn around, turn around. I'm one of those sort of standoff parents that likes to, you know, let him fix his, oh, he just got one, brilliant. He's finding them down there, there's one there as well. Go on, Timmy. He's, they're all over here for you, mate. You, you really don't need to go in that tiny little crevice when there's a big pile of them right there. If I hold him, he should see them. There we go. Yes. Okay, now I'll just sort of calm him. Tasty boy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Just turn around again. Just turn around. That was brilliant, you see that? He snatched it off of the pincers. Can you please stop filming me when I'm trying to eat? I'm now talking like Arnold Schwarzenegger, why am I doing this? <laughs> okay, I think I'll leave him now just so that he can crack on with the rest of those on his own. So we might as well feed the rest of them to the Rainbow River. <laughs> look, look, look at them all, they know. Right, let me pour out some of this water. They know something's coming. What? <laughs> eat them. Eat the black worms. Look at them go. They're loving it. They're loving it. Loads in there. So some of them have got hooked on stuff. This is good. It means that the fish can sort of hunt and they'll move around and find them as they want to. Hopefully. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Look at these guys going for it. <laughs> Most fish have just got a worm hanging out of their mouth now. <laughs> Whoa! Go on, son. You might as well have a go as well. Have a look. That's the problem, see, because they're sat on the bottom, but. You know, as they move around, they'll come up in the water column and these guys will pick them off. Yep, there we go. There's another one. He's got it as well. They're all going nuts now. Let me stand back. Whoa. <laughs> I've just stood here and filming up close and all of a sudden, zoom, one just flies past. You see a completely different behavior the minute live food is put in. Like, they don't behave as fast as this when it's, when it's just like pellet food. Nice work, guys. Nice work. This one's just got like half a worm just hanging out of his mouth. It was very good, but now I just must rest here whilst I digest. Okay, yeah, I think for Mike, I think we should get the, the blood ones, like the live blood ones. He's never seen live ones. I put some frozen ones in there before. Didn't really know how to react, but he did eat them eventually once they sunk to the substrate. But if I put some live ones wiggling around in the, like, in the water, he's going to think it's like his birthday or something, I reckon. He might not know what to make of it because he doesn't actually attack the shrimp in there which some some better fish do just instantly kill shrimp but there's still shrimp in there now that he hasn't killed so maybe he won't even mind the blood worms hopefully he just goes nuts and just destroys them i was actually in the shop the other day buying some fish and one of the girls in this says she feels bad when she puts live blood worms into f as food for her fish okay so next up is the blood worms but what i'm going to do with these ones rather than do what i did there i'm going to snip them pour them into here 
and then just leave a little bit in the bottom so I can just sort of pour them in as many as I need rather than the whole at one go. Because I think I think the uh, the fish in the Rainbow River might like some of these as well. Right, so yeah, you, you can see in there, they're all in. I'm going to pour off a load of that water though. I've got a good little hoard there, they're all wiggling away as well. So I could probably just use my pincers to be fair, just to pick a few up and put them in. That's just, I think that'll work best. Right, come on in buddy. Look, he knows something's going on. He's like, in fact, I'm going to open this lid up a little bit, I think. Pincers have been gotten. Pick up a few, see what he does. Uh -huh. Go on then, come on. <laughs> He's confused, I think. He doesn't know what they are. It's quite interesting though, isn't it? Look, see what he does. Because he can see them moving, look. Go on then. Yes, in for the kill. Perfect, that's what I wanted to see. That's really good to see. Look at him wiggle on the surface tension on the top as well. That's brilliant. He's spotted him. Yes, he's behaving wicked. I've never seen him doing that, you know, with his uh, fins like that, fluttering him. Oh, brilliant. That's so good to see. In fact, let's get a little bit closer because he doesn't seem bothered by us at all. Definitely going to do this more often, guys. I'm going to just, every time I'm in the shop, just pick up a few packs of these as like a treat, maybe once a week because I'm always driving past. So we see from this side as well. He's such a nice colour, isn't he, guys? Beautiful fish. And to think we nearly lost him because he jumped down the back, but thank goodness I came in in time. He's munching for all of these, look. He's like, I don't care. I'm going to eat it all. I don't know why I speak like that, but... Nice. Okay, right, so we now know that Mike loves the black, not black worms, they're blood worms. Um, so I've still got all of these. So you know where they're going. Boom, these guys are going to go nuts. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the flow on for these. Uh, nah, it'll be more fun to watch them. This side, there we go. This is quite raw, this footage, isn't it? <laughs> Chucking you around everywhere and that. But anyway, right, stay there. Let's get these blood worms in. I'm going to do it a little bit at a time, yeah? So we can watch it. A few there. Ooh, are they going for it? Yes, they are really going for it. Go on, guys. They're loving this. God, they've eaten that in seconds, look. Let's give it some more. Go on, my guys. Go on, my guys. Boom, 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 boom. Literally, blood worms don't stand a chance. Didn't save any for Timmy, but, you know, he won't eat all of those. Look at them all. Okay, maybe that was too many. I don't know. Are they going to finish those off? They all seem to be pecking at them. So, I mean, ultimately, they're, I guess they'll survive until eaten. Is that the case? I don't really know how this works, to be fair. Maybe I should have looked that up. But if I put the flow on now, I'm certain they'll start sort of blowing around. And many of these fish don't really like eating from the bottom. They'll only fe feed on stuff that's in the water. Look at this guy. Look at him. Oh, that's a girl. Yeah, you've had you've had one too many, love. Okay, I'm going to put the filter back on. See what happens. Okay, guys, the filter's back on. Should be coming around any second. Here we go, look, now all the water's starting to move. Flow is coming, ah, it's lifting it all off the surface. Yeah, they like that much better, look. See, they're all going at it again now, now that it's all moving. So basically, these fish just like to feed from the water column only. They're all probably pretty stuffed now. <laughs> Maybe give it a, another day or so before we refeed them because some of them have just got worms hanging out of their mouth and they can't fit anything more in. It's hardly going to pollute the water though, is it? This small amount of stuff. And if it does, I can just do another water change. But we're all good. We're all good. Right, so what we've got left is the river shrimp inside there. Can you see them? Yeah, you can. There you go. And we've got the black worms. Now, I want to feed Pancho one of these. And I can't feed the black worms to anything else. Maybe to Timmy. Timmy's possible. But I think I'll just put them aside for now and maybe save them for another meal. Because I want to get these shrimp into Pancho and see what he does. So let's get them out and then I can just, I'm not sure if he'll go for him because he's a he's an ambush predator, but if I let him know I'm coming, yeah, that's an idea. Right, I'll pick up these tweezers because he knows that that means food time, that sound and these little metal tongs. He knows it means food time. So look, he, there he is there looking awesome. Look how clear that water is, look. And then if I just do that, he now knows, see, he's getting ready. He knows food's coming. So. On that note, I think we can put the shrimp in. The shrimp are in. It's quite salty, that water. I'm going to pour a load of that away because I want to put all that in the tank. Right, we've got Pancho's attention, look. So I think what I'm going to do is just put one in near him and see what he does. Right, I've got one. He's got a blood worm, this one. He's like feeding on the remnants of the blood. Oh, I've got one there, look. It's in. I don't know where on earth it just went. 
Did anyone see it? Axolotls haven't got great eyesight. I'm pretty sure he will find them as they float around in front of him, but for now, he's not seeing them. There's one right behind him now by his tail. I'm going to put this one here. There's one there, look. Go on, Punch, get him. Oh! Get him! No, not me. There he is. He's by, your, he's by your feet. He's by your feet. He's coming. Oh, for crying out loud. Let's see if I can get him. Oh, he's there. He's there, Punch. No, he's... There, we got, he got one. Yes, did I get that? Yes, got it on camera. Well done. Oh, there's one coming. There's one coming. There's one coming. There's one coming. Do him. Do him. I think he's too busy. Go, go on. Come on. Go on. It's going. It's going closer. It's, come on. Punch is there. Punch. Punch. Get it. Yeah. Oh, my God. You can see why they can't even get the... Come on, Punch. They're right there. They're right there. Here you go. He's seen him. He's seen him. He's seen him. He said, right, this is going to be awesome. He's going to... Oh, bang! Did he get it? No, he didn't get it. Well, he's going to have fun in here, isn't he? Look at how red his gills have gone. Look, he mad. Oh, you mad, Pants. you you got to be quicker than that, fella. You've got to be quicker than that. I can't hand feed you all of them. It's time for you to start earning your keep, boy. It almost looks like he's smiling at us, doesn't it? It always does. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, that's so cool, though. I'm just... Oh, this guy. This guy. Go on. I won't focus. Look, he's just like, oh, I'm just going to chew on my blood worm. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on, Pancho. Surely you can see them. He's clever, see? He waits till they're close enough. Can he see them? I don't think he can see them. But they're going towards him because they don't know that, obviously, he's a predator or anything. Come on, then. <gasps> oh, oh. Oh, so close, fella. No, he got one. He got one of them. Yes, Pancho. Nice one. Oh, I'm so proud of you. Good little Pancho. He's getting big, guys. He's getting bigger. The plan to keep him in here was perfect because he's gaining in size. Look at this one. Look. Look at him. Look at him just like, la, 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 la. You're going to die, fella. So they won't actually survive in here for too long because they need, like, brackish water to live. But they can survive in here for a few days from what, I, from what I've read up online and that. Well, they could do, but he's going to pick him off in that time, surely. He got that one then, good. Once I think he learns how quick he needs to be, he's going to be on it. That was so cool, though. I might just put the rest in now as well. Let him pick him off as he goes. Oh, bang! Did you see that? He got it straight away. Good boy. Because he's an ambush predator, look, he waits for them to go to him. I mean, these guys aren't massively high in nutrients for them. It's just a bit of fun, really. Just keep it as sort of predatory instincts go. <gasps> come on. Oh, come on, Pancho. He's gifting you it. Is he teasing him? He's teasing him. Oh, if you are interested in getting in one of these tanks, guys, I should probably say, they are from Aquariums for Life. I'll leave a link for you down below. You can go and check out their website very reasonable prices and they look awesome don't they look how good does this tank look all got like soft clothes buttons and like all lined inside with oak as well but oh pancho pancho go he's right there Pancho, he's right there he hasn't seen it look it's right on that stick it's not moving oh boom not quick enough that time punch come on this is so cool i've never seen him behave like this See, with the fish he didn't really even try because they were like almost too quick but i think he's got far more of a chance with these little bad boys so yeah, I'm going to leave him to it now, but that was cool to see. Quite a few of them there we managed to get on camera, which I'm really happy with. Look at how good he's looking. Look at that. Perfect skin, perfect gills. Remember what I was saying to you guys? Their gills go super red. What? Oh, oh, oh my God. Boom! Oh, he just missed that one. Unlucky, mate. Keep trying, keep trying. <laughs> yeah, their, their gills go super red when they're active, you know, so he's been hunting there. So look at that. He's so cool. Love him. So glad I got one. If you liked today's video, guys, make sure you give me a like, a subscribe, and I will see you on the next one. <laughs> Look at how fat all these guys are. They have had a good meal.